everybody. Welcome back. Podcast number 56. 56. We have a winner, but we're not going to announce it until later. We're going to make you watch through it. Or you'll, you could fast forward, I suppose. Uh, I'm Dinah. You can find me at The Knitting Place on Instagram, Facebook, and Ravelry. I'm Pam Sapp. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry and Pam Sapp Bienza on Facebook. All right. We are going to get started. Do you have anything you want to share before we dive right in? Not really. Like, what, like my whip, you mean? No, meaning like what's oh, new no, this weekend. No. <laughs> no. I actually have some announcements Go ahead. to make. Go okay. Ahead, so, my mother was finally vaccinated Yay. this morning. Good. Which is Monday, what is it, May 17th? Monday, May 17th. And we are gearing to get the store open. What does that mean? slightly modified store hours we are hoping to open uh, the shop from 12 30 to 3 30 mm -hmm. on Tuesdays Thursdays and Fridays and it'll be this Saturday actually and then beginning Memorial Day weekend we are going to be closed on Saturdays so if you need to come visit please make sure you visit us during the week we are going to continue to stay closed on Mondays to fill, fill weekend orders, to do our podcasting and my our Zooming kits, my kits. and kits and all of that good stuff. So please call, make an appointment. Uh, we are going to be scheduling appointments for in-store shopping. We are super excited. We're getting the store ready. But we'll still do things outside. Lessons will be outside if there's a lesson. Lessons, help. Repair, helps will be outside. Right. There's and no if, need to be in the store for that. Right. And if there tends to be a line, the table will still be set up outside. So if you guys are visiting, we can try to multitask two people at once. And that's it. There you go. All righty. Shall we start with what you're wearing? I'm wearing the uh, ranunculus in the BC Garn to Silk, which we showed, I think, last week or the week before. Fingering weight silk yarn. Very, very open, very light. Love to wear it over a dress. I'm not wearing it over a dress today, but... <laughs> Although she vowed from now on, it's too hot, it's hot today. <laughs> they took the Stress air conditioner season. out of the classroom at school, so it is, it? it is. it's getting hot in school. I mean, you can oh. be cool outside, but it's still hot in the classroom. Do they leave the windows open at night? No. For it no. to get cooler? No, no. They no. should. No, and then the teacher pulls down the blinds so she keeps the sun out, but when you keep the sun out, you're blocking the air from coming in, too. So it's a, it's a, which is You're worse, like, blocking the sun or blocking the air. I don't you know. You can't win. <laughs> totally can't win. So you know what? It is what it is. What are you going to do? As someone said last week, 28 days left. So now it's probably. Is it really only 28 days left of school? Right. But the, yeah, remember those are school days. No, it doesn't count weekends. I know. <laughs> so it was, I don't know now if it's 27, 26. I don't remember what day it was that we said that. It's but. not that bad. <laughs> I guess depends on your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sure others would agree with you, Miss Pammy. Yeah. Well, listen, it is what it is. It's fine. You can't complain, right? There right. could things could be a heck of a lot worse, so I can't complain about that. That's for sure. Anyway, so that's that's what I'm wearing. What are you wearing, Dana? I'm wearing the Rocket Tee. It's designed by um, Tannis. Tannis. Yes, Tannis. And I used Suburban Stitcher. I used fingering weight sock yarn as well as the matching mohair. Mm -hmm. I used one skein of each uh, because the Suburban yarn, I think, had 460 yards. So I was able to squeeze by, like literally. With one of each. Yes. And I based opted, on the size you're making, too. Right. I think mm -hmm. I made it a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And I also opted to do the um, I-cord bind off in the sock. I did not want to use... The uh, fingering, not the fingering weight, the mohair lace doubled. Yeah, so. so I did you have using, more of one left than the other, or was it tight on both I did have more mohair, right? Mohair left, because I, like I said, I didn't did use the, the mohair. Right, right. And right. I also ended with the sock at the bottom, so it used up How more. much longer did you make it? I think I did one repeat more. So repeating the mohair and the mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's not bad. Right. There Looks like go. I got caught here. I hate when that happens. Yeah. But, um, okay, so that's very nice. Thank you. Very nice. It's t-shirt season. And, uh, yeah, pull right. out those t-shirts. We pull are out those, wearing those summer I, I knits, right? Like I have to knit some more, I think. Of it what? looks like, does it look like nice t 
top see through. I think it matches it's your angle. skin. It matches yeah. your flesh color. <laughs> <laughs> Although you don't have pink flesh. I think it's just the light. <laughs> I'm getting very self conscious right now. <laughs> All right. Shall we move onwards? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> onwards and upwards, as they say. Should we talk about whips? Yeah, I mean, sure. We're both are working we both? on the same. Uh, if you see me winding yarn, we our winder has been a little bit uh, hostile with us lately. And we had like a leaning it flew off. It yes. flew off the needle. So I'm just trying to get yarn wound for This is our ongoing knit along at the shop, the Mar Marseille, not the Thank Marseille, you. No. Marseille. Um, Thank you, Leslie and Sandy, for correcting us. Exactly. And um, what was I going to say about it? We have our Zoom this evening, and I'm finally joined under the arm. Although I feel like I am a delinquent compared to some of the other participants in the knit along. They probably, <laughs> I, see what I think they're going to be off the body and onto the sleeves. And I was figuring this out last night. The row gauge is eight rows to the inch. So if I had 13 inches, I need to go to 22. So that would be um, nine times eight, which is, well, it was less than that though. Maybe no, I'm it's at, less. 13 to 22. No, you're right. Nine inch. Well, I think I was less than that. I think I was at maybe at eight inch whatever whatever it is my point being i need to go to 22 it's eight rows to the inch i'm at 13 and a half let's say i'm at 14 okay so that's what is that eight times eight uh yeah yeah maybe i don't think inches. i'm quite at 14 but let's say 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 that i'm at that that's 62 then the ribbing hold on is, is four it? inches and the ribbing would be 32 rows so Correct. 64 and 32 is 96 more rows rounds rounds <laughs> i don't know if that's a Double good thing or rows. a bad thing to do that but this is the way my mind works when i'm knitting now these how things. many rounds do you knit a day would you oh well that's so so i was thinking about very good question diana you know why very because good question i was I'm thinking about think that of, okay our timeline i mean i don't have a lot of time during the week so if i go home at night realistically when i sit down to knit how many of these rows do you think i'm going to be able to knit? Not eight. three <laughs> Eight is enough. It is too I, much. I would say, I mean, no. I won't be able to do, I mean, I'll be lucky if I, uh, really, I don't know. For me to do eight rounds a day. Oh, that's I would a have, lot. That's a lot. I'd have to knit in the morning and, and at, at night. night. Right, that's and a I'm lot. And I'm not a good night. No, either. no. Uh, so, again, so when you break it down that way, because you can say, oh, I could do the body this week. When you stop and think about it, I say, I don't know if I can really do the body. But I would be, hope. I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that by next weekend I could be, I, I didn't even know if this is too hard, to, Wait, off next, the body. Next weekend? like as When in, we Zoom next Monday. Off the body. Okay. I'll, I'll be off. I, I don't know. No, it's a, it's a lot. It's a, it's aggressive. That's if I be. don't cast anything else on. <laughs> okay, can you share? I've been controlling myself, but I mean, I, there are things I would like to cast on. Don't put it away yet. You had mentioned two techniques that you used. Yes, I did. I mentioned on the jogs on the side. Where is it? Actually, do you have one stripe right or here. two? I have two stripes, but that's, I don't know what I did on it. Well, did I do it on No, because that's no, flat. It was, it was flat. So I only have one in the round. So I had posted a link in our Ravelry chat that uh, I, I, a link for uh, Suzanne Bryan. She has uh, two videos on jogs, joining jogs, whether they're the wider ones like this or more narrow join. You know, Wait, let's stripes. fill them in. So what we're talking about is a jogless join when you're knitting in the round so that you you're we're trying to avoid the jog when you're knitting in the round and you're working stripes sometimes there's a little stagger well because it would if you're working in the round and you start it here you're going to be it's going to be kind of be off because mm -hmm. of the um you know the round being started and ending but in any event so i did suzanne bryan's i posted the link in the group now someone said that they found it hard to follow i don't know but in any event um I said, let me try that. And then I was watching an Andrea Mowry YouTube the other day, mm -hmm. and she has one on a jogless joints, but what she, she does it differently. I said, oh, I should try that. And so I started the stripe with the one, and I and ended with the other one. And you tell me which join looks better. Okay. Do you want to show them first? <laughs> As if you guys are going to answer. I have to put my glasses on. Maria, you're almost getting there. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see. Okay, now I want a closer look. Which one looks better? I, I didn't. Like, I, I didn't carry the yarn up. I think I like the bottom better. Correct. Yeah, the top Which I don't do? like at all. 
And I'm trying so, to manipulate it. I'm trying to manipulate. I'm sure so I can. So will you reveal what you used for the bottom versus the Suzanne top? Suzanne Bryan. Okay. Suzanne Interesting. Bryan. Okay. Suzanne Bryan. And that's the Andrea, link you posted? Yes. Andrea Mary does it where she, you join the new yarn, you go around to the beginning, and you come to the last stitch of the old color. No, 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 no. Yes. And you move it over next to the first stitch of the new collar and you knit them together. Oh, okay, interesting. I didn't like that. I mean, I, I not that I didn't like it. As far as I'm concerned, the, the, neither one is hard to, to do. It's not hard to execute. It's a preference of which one you think But looks maybe, better. I don't know, I could try it again. Maybe I didn't do hers completely right, you know, but I'm not liking the way it looks on it. But, you know, I'll fix it so that it looks okay. I have to loosen up some loosen up a stitch that looks like it's too tight there. But in any event, just interesting when you start talking about, um, and this is Dinah's. So this is my Marseille. There you go. I was at a Provence in France. We've been right saying it incorrectly. So this is mine. I'm also joined in the round, finally. I'm excited to show my progress tonight, although everyone is probably up to picking up the sleeves, yeah. which brings me to, yeah. I'm thinking, I might put my pot body on pause and do the sleeves. There's less weight. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Stay tuned for next week to see what I decide. Um, and then as far as the join, this is mine. Which one did you do? Or you just did your own? Did you use the same method for both ends? Yes. What did you do? Which one did you do? I just tied it. <laughs> I'll show you the back of mine. I just tied it. I didn't do anything fancy. So there you have it. And this is my right side. So what will happen is, is when I get around, whoops, let's see, when I get around to the marker, I will have an additional row knit up over here, and that should push that down. So it looks a little bit off, but hopefully when I complete the round. I know I didn't do the jogless join. That's okay. <laughs> Listen, you know, Whatever. there's more than one way to skin a cat. Exactly. We always say that, right? right? So that's our progress. That's our whip. And that's it. Of course, it. we have others. Oh, of course, we always oh, have others. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is on the Needless forefront. to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one we we're trying to, like, speed knit through. <laughs> you know. Oh, my goodness. In the, so, next week, we'll still be on the same project, believe me. But... We are trying to speed net because we do have, not really speed net. No. We're working on it. Being more uh, diligent. Yeah. Because we have our new knit along coming up in June. And for those of you who pre-purchased the yarn, good news. We are heading up in the queue, which means we should hopefully have the yarn by the beginning of June. Fabulous. So that's really exciting. Good. That's great. Yep. Excited. Yeah. And All that's right. That's it. What else are we doing? Should we talk about new product? or some kits why don't we talk about this since you're wearing it okay well we figured that since i was wearing the rocket tee what tends to happen is is that a pull no well here uh we decided to replenish our kits and we put some more rocket tee kits together so this is the pattern very nice and uh, we have other announcements that's another announcement i'm just going to show you a couple of kits we won't. And what Diane is showing you is the fingering with the mohair. Right. So now in this particular case, you needed two skeins because in the cake zest, there's only 437 yards. So while I was able to get away with one skein in the mohair, these are kitted up to size. I don't recall. It's on the website. Um, I think you said, was it? No, I'm getting my patterns mixed up. It wasn't 56, was no, it? No, it's on the back of that page. 48? 44? So I think the one, I think you said five, didn't you say one, two, three, four, four five, nine. forty-four. Two, no, the fourth size, one, two, three, four. Oh no, you're right, the fifth, up through the fifth size. I apologize. So the fifth size being through a size forty-eight. Right. Because we have four hundred and fifty-nine yards in the mohair. In the mohair. Correct. So for the finished bust up to forty-eight inches, this is including how many inches of positive Six. Ease? About. About. Now I did not you go for six. six I was gonna say. So I wanted to show you. I think you have about four inches. I probably three have or four about four inches. Yeah. Right. 
So it depends on how oversized Correct. you want your garment. This right. particular piece, I just wanted it to kind of wear like a t-shirt. Right. And it starts with a 32. Love... So if you went for 32, 35, 38, 41, 44, 48, you could do it with that. You might need another skein of mohair if you went to the 52 or 56. Right, right. right. So you certainly have adequate yardage. I think, what sock. is it, for yeah. 437 oh, times yeah, two? Yeah, you have plenty. You, you could actually do like, any size, sizes any with size two. with two, yeah. So if you needed to upsize, you just have to get an additional skin. This colorway is Loverboy. Tannis fiber, it's very nice. Yes, it is. This colorway is Holiday. You might recognize this. This was the color I used in my color craze cowl. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Love sponge. Slightly different. A little bit more fuchsia and turquoise. This is a good one. Be Beet. This is sugar beet syrup. It's a pretty one. Yeah, that is gorgeous. And these should be up on the website. Yes, they're all live. And if you miss them, by all means, you can always call. We can make another one or something similar. This one is called Gather. That's a pretty color. That's a very pretty color. See, the colors are a lot more consistent today with the lighting. I think we nailed the lighting. You do. I think they're brighter in person than they're coming up. That's really? Yeah. This is hot, hot, hot. I mean, it's good representation. Yes, I, I think, think so. it's definitely good representation. But <laughs> if you really want the best representation, go to the website. <laughs> Come to the shop. <laughs> See it in person. Well, uh, that's not possible now. <laughs> Don't tease. This is Quake. Very pretty if you're a purple lover. And the last one is a beauty. This one is called Sprite Minute. That's very pretty. It's like corally. Mm -hmm. Soft. Very nice. So that's what I'm wearing. That's the Rocket T. Yep. And again, there are kits up on the website if you want to look at that. Right? Yes. Do you want to talk about that? Why don't yeah, we talk so about let's that? talk about that's this. That's a big one. This is, um, we have. Everyone probably knows about this by yes, now. Yes, but in case you don't, Andrea Mowry is holding a um, four day knit along challenge. It's going to be held over Memorial Day weekend. It's called the Flicker and Flame Challenge, and you can follow her um, on Instagram. You can subscribe to her newsletter so you get all the details. Join her Ravelry group. She's also started doing a YouTube. She's done about She's got a 10 right. once a week. And on her YouTube channel, which is also fabulous, she, she does demonstrations that. and mm -hmm. she does uh, explanations. So if you need to learn the technique on the stranded knitting, I believe she covers that. So you're definitely going to want to watch or subscribe to her on She was saying yesterday that YouTube. she does um, a spring knit along for an accessory, which is usually a hat. It's usually a hat. Yes. And in the fall, she does one for socks. Right. They're fun. I yeah. mean, it's fun because you've got four days. Most people are off for the long And you have weekend. an FO. And you have an FO, which is perfect if you need to squirrel something away for the holidays. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so with this particular pattern, what's really neat is this one here is called, the, um, it's like a slouchy beanie. She does that in the, fing um, not the fingering weight, the sport weight. The it's dyed in the wool. Correct. And mm -hmm. she has it paired with a sport weight sister yarn. And then she also offers a worsted weight version, which is using the Dream State, and we've paired it with a worsted weight yarn. So we're going to show you that. That's got more of a, a beanie fit. She said the worsted weight's more of a beanie fit, whereas the sport weight is more of a slouchy fit, which I think is what she's wearing. She's wearing the slouchy, right. Yeah, yeah. So we're not going to bore you with all the colors. There are so many combinations. There are about 14 to 16 yes. color combos on the website. And, and it's been very popular because people are preparing. Yes. Uh, and we're constantly replenishing. So if there's something that you like and you don't see, by all means, reach out. Yeah. This is the worsted weight version. This is a new colorway called Close Call. And we have it paired here with Ash by Forge. Uh, Hudson, Hudson and West, West right. Forge, excuse yep. me. Yep. Uh, so Spin Cycle, Hudson and West, Forge, and Dream State. And then we also have Weld which is the Little Sister Sport Weight Yarn. This here is called Dusk, and this is another new colorway. It's called Miss Me, so that's going to be a lot softer, very mm -hmm. pretty blush mm -hmm. tones, mm -hmm. um, super pretty. Yeah. I mean, honestly, color. you could really pick any but color. Yeah. Sure. 
It's fun. That's why there are so many There's combos. There's so many combos. We, we couldn't right. just put up five. <laughs> right. And we're constantly replenishing exactly. with new. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But if it's something that you do want to consider joining, and she's got lots of prizes. She's got a Ravelry thread. Post your pictures. She's got an FO thread mm-hmm. and a chatter thread. Yep. Um, you're going to want to get your kit early because you want to have enough time to wind to receive, wind, swatch. And that's what she said. She started earlier this year because she knows if people are Order. have to ma- mail and it has to be sent to them that right. things are taking longer to get there. Correct. So she wanted to give everyone enough time, which was very nice. So check that out. Okay. What's next? Let's talk about what's new. Do you new want to in talk the shop? about sure. what's new in the shop? Sure. Okay. Well, we received, you can you can help me with that, Diana. We okay. received a new delivery this week from Moondrake. And it is her merino linen base, which is 90 merino and 10 linen. Very popular in the shop. Um, last year it came in, right? And we were doing... Yeah, it was new to us last year with Tracy's shawl. Tracy's shawl. Mm-hmm. And then we've used it for, you designed it. Didn't, did you design a top? I actually designed a top using Chelsea's yarn. Oh, but it was so the same Christina, blend, though, right? Yes, Christina yeah. for our trunk show uh, for the yarn crawl. That's when we were really introduced to that it. That was right before the pandemic. Uh, it was pandemic. right before pandemic. Before. Right. I had designed a sweater, and... It's called the Flower Power Tea. Right? Yes, the Flower Power Tea, and we used Christina, uh, Chelsea Lux Yarns, her merino linen. Which is the same base as this. Right. And since then, you know, I think you knit your, something that we're going to be showing is your Miserina. Yes. Well, I test knit the Unwind Shawl, which is actually right here. This and is you use this base. We use the same base. Mm-hmm. And this is by Tracy Miller from the Grocery Girls. Correct. You've seen it. We've done very well with it. It takes two skeins. It's just a lovely It's a fast, shawl. easy knit, mindless. And that's what. Hence the name, was, yeah. Unwind. And Correct. during the pandemic, when she was designing it, I think she just wanted something yeah, that she could said, really yeah. calm your nerves. She didn't want. It. She was thinking about putting something a little she more intricate. She was going to make it more intricate, and then she opted, opted out. Too. Yeah. Right. Look at that. We so, said the same word at the same time. <laughs> Great minds think alike. So, so we always say, right, Dana? Yes. So it's got a lovely drape. Yeah. And then since then, we've the yarn has been extremely popular. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. We knit, I knit actually the Miserina tea. It was a test knit also for Caitlin Correct. Hunter. Correct. Uh, I had worn that a couple of days ago and a huge response. Yep. Uh, so we replenished kits for that. And I also did the top, the daisy sweater. In the merino linen. Which is also in the merino linen. And it's got a lovely drape, but you know, I don't know if you could say uh, that 10% linen really just makes a difference right? makes a huge yeah. difference we also had Laya kits and we I think we do still have Laya kits on the website from uh, is that by Isabel Kramer yes Laya? it's Sorry. L-A-I-A mm-hmm. and um, that's been popular and the Daisy which Dinah talked about fairly recently was done designed in the merino linen it which wasn't little... Drake's merino linen but it was uh, merino linen right Right. I think I use Kokan. Kokan. I actually use uh, Moon Drake for the for the for so the it's daisies. A mixture. Yeah, they're all interchangeable, honestly. Uh, so it's a fun yarn. It's very popular in the shop. We are restocked. We are super happy with the colors, and we're just going to show you. And we what also they are. used it for the, the linen summer shawl from Hohe. Oh, Hohe's linen summer shawl. She also designed. Now that requires three skeins. Right. Now I hope with that I'm showing them to you in the right. In the right order. I don't know if there's a particular way that you want to. You want to go one color at a time. Yeah. Diana? Okay. This is sunset in Taiwan. That's pretty. It's like lavender and yellow. This is coral. Cobblestone. That's very nice. Right. I think she used. Uh, Hohe used that. She in, used that in, in her, her summer shawl, shawl right? Yeah. I think it's under. Do you here. have a picture of it? I think it is one of those. There it is. Actually, we'll show you the colors that she used. Right, Dinah. Yes, we she can. used that. She used the Prada blue, which is down here, and what? Oh, dropped one. And then she also used what was it? Now did she it's use the toffee? Ginkgo. No, it no, looks she like used toffee. ginkgo. She did. But I don't know if this is ginkgo over here. It's, I wouldn't say that it's these three, but right. It looks more like toffee. I agree. Yeah. So we'll pull toffee just so you can get a visual. You know, toffee is goldish, more goldish. 
That's to me what more like, what that it looks, looks like. More similar. So that would be toffee, Prada blue, and cobblestone. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a three color cashmere shawl. So uh, linen, linen. Excuse me. I say cashmere. Where did <laughs> yeah. I get that from? <laughs> I love this name, creamsicle. Yummy. Lovely. And then this one, Diana, tell me about this one. It's a special one. So she had done a custom colorway for us, and she called it the Knitting Place Sunset. So for those of you who don't know, we have a beautiful uh, port right here in Port Washington, and we get the most gorgeous sunsets. So she must have been feeling inspired. And let's see, so blowing out a little bit. There it is. That's a little bit better. Yeah, It's very, it's very light, pretty. Very, soft, very light and soft. Yeah, and pretty. Three basics at one time. Blonde, ash, and black. Beautiful. It's a there pretty gradient. Go. That yeah. would actually make a beautiful linen sunset. That shawl. would, right? Very wearable for mm -hmm. sure. And then let's just show you some pinks, right? Yeah. Yeah, Diana, you want to do that? Well, I was go just going to show. Oh, yeah, go ahead and do that. This one here is the amethyst. And if you wanted to do the unwind shawl, which is behind me, oh, this that would, would be, be gorgeous. Look at that. You see the amethyst in there? It's gorgeous. Beautiful. That's very pretty. And this one is pink, smove, and juicy. Yep. And then we have, oh, I like this one, Diana. You know I like this one. <laughs> Duckling. This is duckling, and this is ginkgo. Right. Isn't really that pretty? Nice. Love the Super two colors, pretty. right? And that would actually make a very pretty shawl, too. This is a pretty color. This is driftwood. Now, driftwood is very, you can see the little speckles going on in there. And Look at the bottom. You see that? That's driftwood. Driftwood is actually Is that what you shawl. have in yours? Yes, it is. I use mushroom and driftwood. Nice. And this is pink salt, a favorite color of mine. Very, very pale. Right, Dinah? Yeah. Very uh, subtle. And this is another pretty color denim. It's beautiful. And I did drop one. And I will get it. Let me get it again. Because of the Eldritch. It's one of her favorite colors. I love Eldritch. <laughs> but I'm dropping you on. Actually, no. This is what I dropped. Look. Oh, lilac. Lilac. Can't forget that one. Nope. It's another beauty. So then do you have the pears? The Miserina pears? Yeah. yeah, they're right over okay. here. So Dinah, uh, here, why don't you show them the, um, I have the picture, I believe, over here of Miserina, right? I'm going to hand these back to you. Sure. Hold on. I'm going to look for that. The unwind shawl? The Miserina. Is there oh, a Miserina. picture of the Miserina? Yes, I think so. So next is. up, using the same base yarn, so we're kind of trying to show you different options with the yarn that came in um and it's actually Sorry, it's funny Jane. no you're fine it um interestingly the unwind shawl mm -hmm. which i actually also have here which mm -hmm. is it's on the mannequin over. this is a two skein project by tracy miller correct this linen summer shawl is a three skein project and i believe we also showed kits for the winter cowl that she had done we also used the uh, merino linen, which mm -hmm. was lovely. Mm -hmm. This here is the Miserina Tea by Caitlin Hunter, and this is a cute little top. I had used, I believe it was two I skeins. I have your way over here, don't I? You used, um, I'll find it. I just don't want to make Two skeins up. in the main body <laughs> and one in the... It's all over the place. That's okay. And one in the contrast color. I think this was your color way down here. Diane. So if I'm not mistaken with two skeins you can knit up to two four five the fifth size and the fifth size would be up to a 52 inch finished bust measurement. This was your color way right Diane? It was the ash with the juicy. Yeah. I think mine was a little darker the dye lot. Right. Well, but it's still fine. very pretty. But that's one color way option that right Diana? yes and I like this one believe it or not I know it's blue <laughs> Prada blue and sky and That's the sky pretty. is it never so subtle very soft blue yeah very but it's very like soft. in the same tonality I Correct. think of the Prada blue it's, it's very pretty this one is another favorite I like all of them so I'm not gonna say it's a favorite but I love this color coral it's coral and blonde isn't that pretty yep now, just for the record, any of these combinations would really work for the Daisy Tea yeah, sure. yeah. by Moonstruck Knits. Right. The so, only difference was there was an additional skein. Right. So we did not kit that one, but you would have to buy three skeins of the main, or depending on your size, four right. and one of the contrast. 
I'm a little off screen. This is another one. Amethyst it's and lilac. Beautiful. Beautiful. This was. Did we do one. this one? This was one, right? Are these just the, uh, the black no, is no, missing. The black on is that. missing. Well, well, we'll come back to that, okay? Okay. I believe we did. This was another colorway. Did you have black in the pile there? Yeah. This is juicy. So this is the inverse juicy and charcoal. This is a fun one, too. Ginkgo with black. This happens to be a popular colorway. Didn't someone, was he, were they here on Saturday? They're making the Enjoying, daisy in yes. this color combo. Gorgeous. Very nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Black sweater with the yellow daisies. I have. Oh, there's been, more. Yeah, there's a few more of it. What did we put with the Eldritch? Did we put the... Um, pink salt. Pink salt with... I love this. This is Eldritch and pink salt. How pretty is that? Gorgeous. It's a nice one. It's getting washed out. This is actually... in pink compared to the blonde it's a very soft think what's of getting washed out salt. which the, one the pink, the pink salt? salt yeah it is that's because yeah. it's such a subtle color yeah it is very subtle this we did pink. ginkgo with blonde how pretty is that wow i wouldn't mind having that sweater in ginkgo no toffee yeah. it's toffee it's that's not toffee. ginkgo it's toffee excuse me and then the last one i'm going to show you is denim which also is nice with sand Honestly, I think we had the sand with the, sorry. Oh, it was this way. Me. This went with that? Yes. Yep, probably. Sorry. This is the blonde with the denim. It was with sand, yep. and then we did denim yep. with the blonde. Because yep. that has more of a pop. Exactly. Very pretty. So those are all just, you know, people were asking us last week for the Miserina kits, and we hadn't had a chance because the <laughs> delivery had just come it in. Just, so we did just put some together. Yes. And you can do whatever you want with them. You can curate your own kits for the unwind, for the... Absolutely. Linen, summer have shawl, fun. whatever you want to do. We're going to start putting kits together. Uh, I think people have a hard time picking their own colors. Right, right. So we just find that it's, you know, they, uh, listen, I wouldn't mind suggestions too, you know, because we're looking at the yarn, so we have a good sense of what. Yes, and people are so gracious. Thank right. you. You're always complimenting us on how we put the best kits together. Mm. Thank you. That means a lot. We try very hard. So speaking of kits, we well, did go ahead i'm sorry no i was going to say there's a new pattern out no oh, yeah one. yes that's what i was going to talk about we kitted these up and what is the pattern the pattern it's is called happen by anka strick i hope i'm saying that correctly this is super cute it came out over the weekend um it's a cute pullover you can notice the detail there's a ribbing at the bottom and then you have the ribbing going across the top there's a bit of a boat neck uh, it looks like it's a drop shoulder sleeve. I'm it's, not sure if it's worked bottom up. Let me have that, a look. I, I th actually, I think it is. I don't know why I think so, but I'm not sure if I saw it somewhere. Back, cast yeah. on. Now, is there a split? There's a split yeah. hem, so that's always and a nice detail. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll show it to you here, right there. The it's a great hem. sweater for the fall. It really is. It really is. It's a, an 18-stitch gauge or weight, and we thought this yarn was great. It is a, I'll show it to you close up in just a second. It is a blend of cotton and yak. So it's and, good for this and time of year. And there is about 20% of, a, of a, uh, a poly in there. But here you go. Look at them close up. It's a chain construction. And there's, what would you say this color is online? I call this online coral, mm -hmm. beige, lime, and gray green. Gray green, yep. Yeah. There you go. And that's a pretty good representation of the colors, right? Yeah, it almost has like a flannel look to it. Wouldn't you say it has like a well, flannel it's sweatshirt? it's like each color has kind of, I hate to say, a gray undertone, but you see No, not I'm... flannel. Heathered. Heathered, heathered. You know like heathered, the yeah. heathered gray sweatshirt, like right. a champion it's sweatshirt? It's not a solid solid, you know? No. It, it has that... I think the, the best representation, let's see if you could see it in the lighter colors, if we hold it up close... I'm not sure if the screen is really excuse picking me. it up, but it's not a solid. Uh, oh, excuse really me. Not, God bless Sorry. you, Pammy. But it's you not can, really picking it up. No, it's it's well maybe a little bit there. I don't know. But it's anyway, very pretty. it's a fun. It's a fun. I I I do like the chain constructions yeah, personally. And it's super soft. But we thought that would be great for that look. Yes. And that sweater. So there are several. Um, Kids and for this time of up. year, it's about, what is it, 66% cotton, yes. so that's a nice, yeah, it's not and it's not, it doesn't feel heavy. You right. know how cotton tends to have that heavy weight. Well, that's because feel? it has the yak, yak and, the and, the and the poly in yeah. it a little bit. Really pretty. So anyway, that's just an, 
a new thing because we saw this come up on Ravelry. All right, we like to share new patterns with you guys. You yep. know that? Absolutely. Keep our finger on the pulse. As a matter of fact, speaking of what we saw in Ravelry, show them the, the now I'm not going to say it right, the Selja. Selja. Oh. Selja. Selja. Yep. I don't know how you say it. But as you guys know, Linny has been very popular. The yarn from Sandisgarn for our Anchor Summer Top. I made the Wild Clover Tea from Alicia Plummer for a test knit for her, which we showed you a week or two ago. And we had a customer come in who um, was doing this. And it is a great knit. What she did differently, she'd seen it online. Um, this is using a double yarn. But... What they were using was Linne, which is a worsted weight yarn. Right. And they used it single. Cotton linen blend with mm -hmm. some poly. They used it single on a nine needle, which is a larger needle, and it opens way up. And if you look at this, here's the other picture. Here on this picture. Oh, Just fold those. Oh, okay. You can see how sheer it is. You know, you put a tank under it or something, and it if you when you steam it, it opens way up. Right, so what Pam is saying, when you knit it, garter stitch tends to pull in tightly, but once it's blocked out, it opens up, and you kind of see the ladder. Correct, and because it's knit in the round, and it's garter stitch, it's a round of knit and a round of purl. Right. I believe it's top down, and um, something else I wanted to say about it. And again, because if they used 1,600 yards, you're going to use 800, because they were Half doubling the, yardage, right. the yarn. Is what I mean, you could do what they're saying, too. Right, we have like been, reed. Like you could use from reed Shibui. from Shibui, right. which is a fingering weight linen. You could use that and double it, and use the same amount. But we thought, again, we didn't kit this because the linny people just they just buy the linny right for various projects, right? Yeah. Anyway, but again, we just wanted to show that to you because sometimes you come across a really nice pattern. Look like fun for the summertime. Definitely, even the fall. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. Are we ready for our contest winner? We are. We are. We are going to... Actually, we have to really cut this one a little short. Yep. We have a winner. You drew the winner. I it's don't in remember. The it's in the book. Okay. I hold on a so. second. Buried I hope it's here. in the book. Otherwise, I don't <laughs> You're know. buried. <laughs> <laughs> we have a winner. And our winner is... Rona Finkelstein, congratulations. You had recommended Yana by Isabel Kramer. And we followed up. You follow both us and Kokan Yarns on Instagram. Thank you very much. Show what you won. I am going to show you that you won the beautiful skeins, the six skeins of Aaron Waite, and the two skeins of Kit Silk Haze. And I believe Michelle's intention was that this was a kit for the bouquet sweater. Oh, is that what it was? Yes. Yeah. So, of course, you can do whatever you'd like. I have to say I'm quite amazed with all the different recommendations we got using what the yarn. The, uh, what, what was the uh, top recommendation? Or what were some of the top recommendations? Top recommendation was the Lawrence and sweater. And the second or third were Birds of a Feather and the Nell sweater. So Birds of a Feather and Nell are in the fingering But rate. how many suggestions would you say we had, Dana? Oh, Lord. So a lot. There are a lot. We wrote them all down. This is two columns here, and then there's a third. Yep. That's our chicken scratch. Yep. Um, I like the summer free. I don't know if I'm saying that right. S-O-M-M-E-R-F-R-I was a nice one. She said Yana, right? People Yana. were saying Ramona. Wave of Change, Turtle Dove, uh, Orchard Tales, Felix. Pullover, the Felix, the Rose Cardigan, Turtle the Dove. Texarkana, the For It, um, Coco Sweater, there was some Crochet, Cocon Crochet Lay Shawl, the Helga, Estra, and Huldra were all um, lovely crochet suggestions. Of course, there's Le Pouf, Weekender, City Limits, the Marie Chen. Jardin the, got a lot, too. Yes, the Jardin Pullover. Um, Fjord Pullover, the Coco Sweater, the Chaka, Ramona. The Chaka that I knit. Was... Yes. Um, Love Note. A lot of, you know, ones that you may feel are popular. We're so grateful that we brought Cocon to you. We heard from several of you that you've never heard of the company or never knew about the yarn. So it's really nice when we inspire, introduce, and share with you well, a and new you company know... and new fibers that are not Correct. And well, you could no. also go to the comments on this podcast and, Absolutely. and take a look at some of the 
we the don't patterns, have time because there today. was ones that we uh, that I I have to go back still because right. I don't know what they are. Pam was like, "You're going to write every single one down?" Yes, because we need to do our homework. Because and I, I check. well, I had taken some of them over the weekend and whatever and looked at some of them. There were really some very nice ones. So again, you know, the possibilities. I mean, there's so many things you can do and it's just inspiring. I mean, I made the Felix and I never thought of the Felix. Right, but that would be stunning. Yeah, that would in be the lovely Cocon, in the Cocon, right? Yep. You could do the uh, Felix pullover or cardigan. Right. Right? In the Wave Aaron of change. Wave, wave exactly. of change. Exactly. Turtle would be dove. Right. I may have to have do to. that. <laughs> <laughs> I always so wanted to make the go. wave of change. You did. Anyway. All right, everyone. We need to Zoom and head home so that we can get to our... No, we need to... We need to get home so we can Zoom. Yeah, I said that in court there. So we need to Instagram <laughs> live and then get home to Zoom. So thank you. Thank you for participating. Follow us on Instagram, on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Or call us on the phone. And <laughs> always call. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Thank you. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.